All right, now let's say that the baby is choking. It's conscious, but choking. Not moving any air in or out, not able to cough forcefully, is not cooing, babbling, and continued until either the airway is um, freed of its obstruction or the baby becomes unconscious, at which point, if we haven't already called 911, as soon as we knew there was a serious airway obstruction, when the baby goes unconscious, we want to make sure we're going to activate EMS or call a code now so that we get advanced life support on the way, and then we're going to move to the unconscious airway obstruction assessment and treatment. Now we're going to cover child unconscious choking. And in this scenario, we're going to say that they started conscious, it did not come out from our attempts, and we lowered them to the ground. The EMS has already been activated, and so we're going to quickly go ahead and open the airway and start with compressions. No breathing. Continue rescue breathing, one breath every three seconds for two minutes. Reassess the pulse. If no pulse, no breathing, begin CPR and wait for EMS to arrive or an AED. Your other hand. This is the position you want to be in to give abdominal thrusts. Now let go of your partner and take a step back. I don't want you to give any actual thrusts but watch carefully as I show you how it's done. Pull upward quickly with each thrust. Each thrust should be a separate attempt to force the object out. Lean forward. Continue giving five back blows and five abdominal thrusts until the object is coughed up, until the child starts to breathe or cough forcefully on her own, or until the child becomes unconscious. If the child loses consciousness, gently lower her to the ground, taking care to protect the head all the way down. You will learn what to do for an unconscious choking child in another lesson. If you have any questions about when or how to do abdominal thrusts, ask your classroom instructor before you practice any further.